I want to play a game with you before we Okay, play. I hope I can do well. Um, we are going to kind of improvise a little bit here. Okay. I have written down some titles for some brand new Utah musicals. <laughs> and I want you to give me at least one song that would appear on the soundtrack. And okay. any kind of context or additional information, but definitely the song title. Okay. Um, that goes with that musical. <laughs> and we're going to try in true improv form to go oh, as quickly gosh. as possible. So we're going to start. All right, let's try Jello the musical. <laughs> Jello the musical. Okay, um, I'm going to say um, you're going to have a, a song from. Can I make up a song? Oh, absolutely. Sure. Okay, we have this family song, well, a, a family thing, and it's called um, Your Sig. I mean, it's your signature. And I picture that being where all the families coming in with their all different arrangements of, of Jello, and they're talking about how um, Uncle. Uncle Lester or whatever, Uncle Joe has a signature, and his signature is that he blows his nose with his handkerchief. And then, and then Aunt Annie Mae um, always brings the carrots on the green, you know, Jello. And they talk about, oh well, that's their sig, and it's a song that basically talks about their sig. That oh, that must be Uncle Sig, you know. And, and it just, I, I, I can just think about it. You know, it'd be a comical thing about, you know, oh well, that's that's normal family thing because that's what they always do. I don't know. Oh, that's all I have to say about that one. No, that's great. <laughs> The Spanish American for whore. Oh, Spanish American. Okay, I want to live in America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might be not politically correct right now, right? Uh, with the wall and everything. Um, but anyways, from West Side Story. I want to live in America. Maybe so, the, something along that. Someone from Spanish for yeah, you. Yeah. want to live in America. Yeah, or maybe a song from Zorro. You know, maybe that would work. I don't know. <laughs> a funny thing happened on the way to the mountain. Funny thing happened to me in a mountain. Oh, you can't say it with a T. That mountain, not a mountain, and right Layton, and yes. yes, okay. A funny thing that happened. Um, let's see. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Maybe that would be good. Or I'm just a girl who can't say no. Might be good. Oh, you, know? yeah, you gotta create your own yeah. song. Yeah. So like, uh, like, just give me a title that you just make up. Oh, <laughs> title I make. Okay. Um, let's see. Going trapping. Oh, I like that. I like to wear fur boots. <laughs> is that? I feel like that's a song. It might be, maybe it's from Kinky Boots, but it's I like to wear fur boots. Yeah, I don't know. Like a lead guy. Yeah. Like the yes. Lead guy I like to wear fur boots. Yes. I like to kill them, I like to skin them, and put them on my body. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yard sale the musical. Oh gosh, yard sale the musical. Okay. Um. Oh, at 7 a.m. in the morning, and I'm and I'm opening up the doors. Come out and get them. Everyone's grabbing all fours. <laughs> <laughs> we got your we got your china your uh baby clothes and let's see what else um and all your 70s furniture and all your old records and cds that nobody wants oh especially your <laughs> this might be bad especially all of your living scripture videos <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the lyrics to the opening number. There you go. <laughs> um, into the Salt Flats. Oh, into the Salt Flats. Um, I think the song would be Dry Mouth, Weathered Skin. Just Dry Mouth, Weathered Skin. Yeah. Who sings that? Dry Mouth, Weathered Skin. It's kind of like I'm, I'm envisioning, you know, the old song Anna Tepka from Fiddler on the Roof? Oh, yeah. But instead, they're just carrying like they're, they're carrying like their old, <laughs> like their tubes and their... They're thinking that they're going to go swimming, like, in a really cool place, and it's just the salt flats, and they're just dried up, and they're sizzled, and they're just, like, their brine shrimp is stinky, and, you know, <laughs> and they're thinking that they're going to go to this great place, and literally, it's just, like, they're just, they're just cracking, their, their mouths are all, you know, cracked, and their skin's all cracked, and they're just talking about how miserable they are. So, it'd probably be a group number. Yeah. Maybe a group number. Yeah. An opening group number. That yeah, that's good. <laughs> and then maybe a buffalo. <laughs> With the buffalo. With the buffalo. That stands um, in the midst of them. For your last one, Annie, get your gun and your other gun. Oh gosh, Annie, get your gun and your other gun. Well, let's see. I think the. I think it would start. Okay, I, I think it would start with um, two two kids playing outside, and they're pretending that they are. They're pretending like they're 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 cops cops and robbers, right? But. Annie is, Annie's not country like it would be in the musical. Annie's just basically the Annie next door neighbor. And 
and they're the brother or the brother. I should say brother. I'm thinking of a brother. It could be a boy next or They're wanting to play like um like they're gonna hoist something like they're gonna go and rob something. But there's like Annie, get your gun. Oh, and you're gonna need another gun. You know, it's, time of, <laughs> it's like we're gonna need much more power than this. It's not it's not the country musical, but we're gonna we're gonna go a little bit darker on that one. Like Ocean's Eleven for kids. Ocean's Eleven for kids, yes. <laughs> Matter of fact, I just watched that. Yes, Ocean's Eleven for kids. That would be a, actually a really fun one. I feel like that takes place in a cul-de-sac. Yes, a cul-de-sac, but yes, but I think they go to like they walk down to this the main store. You know, you know how every little town has a little store. They go down to the main store and 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 the the prize is something that you know is really ridiculous. Like maybe it's um maybe it's a certain candy bar that they're just wanting, right? And they make this huge plan about how to get this you know thing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that would be something that I would have wanted to do. Because I remember actually driving down, um, well, driving, I didn't drive, but riding my bike down to the uh, Hamlet's. It was a mile away, and we'd go down for Laffy Taffy. The big, you know, long Laffy Taffy's, yeah, those were good times. So maybe it's, maybe it's about that. I don't know. Times have changed. I think Do kids even go out anymore? Maybe they're saying, get your other gun, and they're talking about they're talking about um, the video game that they're doing, right? Get the, <laughs> get the other controller. I think that's what it really is. It's get the other controller. We need another controller. <laughs> that's probably what it is. Oh, I think that's awesome. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much, Jan, for letting me interview and play this ridiculous game with you. Oh, gosh. And you're telling welcome. us about your beautiful theater and your beautiful mission. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a, it's been a joy. Oh, my pleasure.